hello you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video in the car um this has just been the best lighting and also the most quietest because i have three kids um not that i don't think anybody would mind hearing a little giggling voice in the back because usually for the most part <laughs> that's what you'll hear is kids giggling um but for now i am doing a lot of videos in my car um and today we're doing a what sold video so in the title um which you will probably already see by the time you click on this video um, i want to talk to you guys about two really really amazing sales and two brands that you want to be on the lookout for i am going to share some of like my bread and butter sales um because i've been watching a lot of videos like this and i feel like it can be really helpful especially if you're somebody with a goodwill bins near you and you have access to these items or you find these items it might be stuff that you might throw back but I'm going to tell you, don't throw them back and list them and list them and list them and list them because you never know and um, it saves them from being thrown away. It saves them from, I don't know, ending up wherever um, where, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't get used. So anyways, I'm going to start off, like I said, with the two brands and the two styles. Um, I think this is sort of style based and also, also. <laughs> brand based so the first sale that i had was this lululemon men's shirt also have you guys seen this new poshmark update um it may not be new you guys might be like that happened to me like a month ago but i just noticed that poshmark has this update now where like the photos are not all straight down they're like you just slide through them like you do on ebay no it's not gonna do it you just slide through them <laughs> like you do on ebay anyways um so i got this in a flip lot so as always there's a link down below if you want to sign up for flip it's basically just for you to consign items um i know a lot of us do that you may do that like in your local area with a friend or family member that has stuff and you just kind of like pay them you know 50 50 or whatever um so that's basically what flip does you just kind of pick the lots that you want to sell you split it between um your customer and it helps a lot with the rising gas prices like the boxes get shipped to your door so you don't have to go to the thrift store and it's not a mystery box like you know exactly what you're getting the pieces that you're getting um the only thing like with this one for example is all i knew was that it was a lululemon button down so i looked them up obviously lululemon does well so i was like all right we'll take a chance on it um but i actually think i priced this too low you guys so it sold for 38 the retail is 98 um, and I'll also put the link if you guys don't um, visit the Lulu Fanatics, I think is their, their website. Um, that's where the stock photo is from. I literally just did a Google image search and their website came up. So that's how I was able to, um, you know, find the name and I named it the Lululemon Airing Easy Short Sleeve, which obviously helps because if there's a certain man looking for that exact shirt because he already has it and already loves it, then you know you're you're gonna have a faster sale um but yeah so the retail price that it was 98 dollars. so i priced it at 38 one because there was like exact sold comps of that same shirt and also i thought that was fair that's like semi 50 percent off um and it sold immediately you guys like <laughs> i i don't have a cross listing service i think i said that in my last what sold video so um like what i do is i literally post to each platform on my own and I was literally in the process of putting it on eBay when uh, somebody bought it. And actually, I think I priced it a little bit higher at like 40 and they offered me 38 It was a super, super good offer. So I took it. Um, and I didn't even have to list it on any other platform. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a brand and style thing. So I think that Airing Easy shirt is really, really great because it's a men's button up which is nice and good for for working and for men who are in the office but it's also moisture wicking and it's athletic because it's from lululemon so i think it's just a really good made shirt you should definitely be on the lookout for it i will 1000 percent pay um like my full goodwill retail for um lululemon and like i said if you use flip you can literally just type in the lots that have lululemon which i think is how i found this one um so that way you can know exactly which brands um you know are in that box and it's really really helpful so there's that and in this same ladies box um i got a bunch of robert graham shirts now the reason why i want to highlight this one is um one because of how much it's sold for and two because i feel like the style has something to do with it slash the size um because my other ones are sitting it's only been about 
I want to say less than a month, maybe like two or three weeks since I've listed all of them. So they haven't been sitting for a long time, but not all of them have sold. Like this is the only one that sold very quickly. So I'm going to show you guys these photos just to see. Um, maybe, like I said, it's a style thing. Be on the lookout for this kind of style. Um, so this is the shirt. It's a blue button up and you can see it has that like paisley print. Oh, <laughs> that paisley print right here on the collar. And then I don't know if that specific logo, like the splattering and how it looks, um, means that there's a different like level of Robert Graham. If you guys know that, let me know. I'm going to find the uh, picture of the logo. So this is the logo. I know Robert Graham shirts very well. I know that, um, you know, they all have this like fun print, but I don't know if, like I said, there's different levels to it. Um, I didn't look for a stock photo or anything. I just described it. Um, it was a blue checker print and then like the diamond cuffing um i saw a lot of other people using that word like they would put what the print is and then flip cuff because you can flip the cuffs to stick out the way they are right here in that corner so that way you can see what's underneath um and this one sold for my full asking for 50 bucks i think all of them i have priced at 50 or like 49 um, but like I said, this is the only one that sold really fast. It is a size extra large, so I do think that that helps a bigger size. Um, and maybe it's just a color thing. Some of the other ones that I have are like white. Uh, I think I have multiple white ones. So I think maybe Robert Graham bright colored shirts do really well. You guys let me know your experience down in the comments um, and kind of weigh in and see if that's if that has something to do with it. But uh, yeah, so those two sales did really really well I was so excited to share that with you guys I have these screenshots for quite a while I think this was like two weeks ago now maybe three so I'm a little behind on filming but I needed to share that with you guys because I was super excited I hope you guys were super excited um, and if you find some definitely let me know or if you have found some let me know in the comments how much they sold for for you and then um, this video is already seven minutes long so I'm just gonna like pop in some other sales that I think are noteworthy. I've talked to you guys many, many times about these Clarks. You guys already know my feelings on the mistake that I made. Um, but this specific style of Clarks, this sandal with like the uh, champagne straps, really, really desired style. Um, so if you find those or like that color in a different sandal, look them up because these ones were brand new in the box, but they had a ton of attention. They had 11 likes on Poshmark and a couple watches on eBay, probably like four or five. Um, and I'm already sold out of them. So it did take a while. It took a couple months. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to go into the rant, but basically I'm not making very much off of these because my consignment <laughs> level is really low. Um, so lesson learned, if I ever experience that again, um, or get the opportunity to sell Clarks again, I'm going to ask for way more commission. Um, but if you are just straight up buying them yourself or if you find some on flip, um, definitely apply for them, sell them because I do think that there's a market for these specific sandals. Obviously we're in the right season for sandals also. So, um, definitely keep your eyes peeled for those and grab them if they're cheap enough. I know my Goodwill has been starting to charge like $7.99 for shoes. So I don't know. I mean, that's good and good and bad. It's good if, if you can make like 30 to $40 like I did with these. Um, not so good if it's just like a bread and butter, you're just going to get like 20 bucks out of them. So that's just my opinion. You guys let me know how much your Goodwill shoe prices are. Okay. And then the next things that I want to share are, um, my bins fine. So like I said, if you guys come across stuff like this, you may not pick it up. Um, but I went to the bins recently and I found this shirt sitting on the top, which usually means that somebody has thrown it back um and the brand is dockers which i believe is sold at jc penny macy's like department stores um but it had the tags attached to it so you guys already know how cheap the bins prices is especially a button-up shirt so i grabbed it um and it ended up selling for 14 dollars plus shipping so i mean when you only have like a dollar you know into it that's not bad at all so i'm really really happy with that sale um, another bins find now this might be a Texas thing but I mean there's plenty of people who go to universities all around um, <laughs> the the state so you may find one in your area or you may find your local college um, like logo so I'm in Texas so I found this one 
which is a Texas A&M shirt, um, and, but it's Adidas brand. So I decided to pick it up because of the Adidas logo. It even has like the little trifle here in the, in the corner. So you can like see the branding when you wear it. Um, again, I probably only have like a dollar into it from the bins. It was a little faded too. You can see on the, on the helmet. Not sure if that's intentional or not. I do believe I put that like there's some fading. However, I do think that that's just part of the shirt because it's either vintage or um, it's like a vintage collection where like they made it to look like that. Um, so yeah, this ended up selling though for $19 plus shipping. Like, and of course it did go to Texas um, and I actually put burnout shirt in my title. So burnout shirts are usually more like faded and stuff like that. So somebody would already know like when they're reading the title, granted half people don't read eBay titles, but um, somebody who's reading the title would already know, oh, okay, it's faded because like that's the style of the shirt. Um, I think I even had this price a little higher, um, but yeah, it sold for 19, which is awesome. Like I said, you might throw it back because it's just a t-shirt and you might even think that it's like too faded, but um, collegiate stuff specifically does really well because if you go to that college or university, you you know want to wear their stuff so um definitely pick it up i've also sold i don't know if it's here or if it was on facebook oh it was on mercari so let me share that so with you guys so, uh, on the topic of collegiate stuff um in a flip lot i got this fossil purse which um i was really excited about because fossil is a really good brand but it was another collegiate brand it was actually their rival um ut of texas and let me find the listing it was a beautiful purse by the way um and let me see okay so you can't see like any of the like lettering here but it's just like a, a brown suede bag but here on this on this strap let me see if i can find a picture of the strap to show you guys there you go so on the strap it says like ut texas has the longhorn um logo and it sold for $27 plus shipping. Um, and I did do like a little photo of me wearing it. I don't know if that helped it at all. I put that it was a bucket bag, but I just figured, hey, let's try it out. Um, let me know if you guys sell purses and you do like, you know, just put it on your shoulder or put it on a mannequin or something if that helps sell it. Um, but yeah, so $27. Again, this one went like super close to me. It was like Victoria, Texas or something, which is like just a few towns over from me. So super close, which number one means that the buyer gets the, the item a lot quicker. Granted, eBay doesn't do like the whole, you have to accept your package before you get your money, but um, Mercari and, and Poshmark do. So the fact that this lady was like literally the next town over, she got her bag like the next day and I got my money the next day. It was really, really fast. So um, of course, not all collegiate stuff is made the same, but uh, definitely look into it, especially like I said, depending on where you are, in the states um you know you're gonna have different stuff maybe you do come across texas stuff maybe you come across the stuff that's in your state definitely look it up and if it's made by a known brand like nike and adidas um i do think that that helps it and you know you can make a good profit and the last thing i'm gonna i'm gonna share with you guys i'm glad that i came to mercari because i almost wouldn't have shared these with you guys now i don't know how rare these are if you can find them out in the wild or not i don't know but um I've been watching Moki Beth and she talks about how she loves picking up beta brand um, pants, the ones that they make for women that are like yoga dress pants. Um, and so I've been keeping my eyes out um, and at a garage sale I came across these beta brand men's jeans. She had them like on one of these little racks of like all men's jeans all put together and she wanted three dollars for them. And um, like I said, Moki Beth has not talked about men's jeans, but from the prices that she gave for like the women's pants and like how much they retail for, I was like, heck yeah, I've never found Beta Brand. I'm super excited. Um, and I actually didn't notice, so I'll show you guys this. Whoops, my phone is dying. This, uh, <laughs> this first photo. So this is what I saw when I picked them up. Like they're just a dark wash pair of jeans, right? And I was like, okay. And I think they were a size, yeah, 32. So I, you know, did a little comp search of beta brand size 32. And I was like, okay, 30, 35 bucks. Sold. Um, but as I was taking photos, you guys, um, I opened the zip. Oh, come on. I opened the zipper. And you guys see like that rainbow in the middle? So I thought maybe the previous owner did that. 
regret it. I don't know how you would do <laughs> how you would do that, but um, I thought that was like something the owner did. And then as I started looking at them closer, I don't think yeah, my photos you can't tell, but um, as I started to look at them closer, the thread of the jean has like a rainbow thread tied into it. It's really really cool. So. I ended up looking them up, and this is the stock photo again. You won't be able to see the rainbow threading, but this is the stock photo. And you guys, they're literally called the Beta Brand Gay Jean. Like, that's the name of it. Uh, for a second, I was like, oh, excuse me. <coughs> I've been talking for too long. <laughs> um, that's what they were called. For a minute, I wasn't going to put that. Um, not because I think it's offensive or anything, but like, I didn't know if like that's what it was called or like somebody just put gay in the title because you know it has a rainbow on it I don't know but no come to find out this is a, uh, a line of jeans that they put out um, I want to say it was like 2019 or something like that it's recent but not super recent um, but yeah it's on their website that's what it's called it's called the gay jean it's a men's jean um, and basically they're a dark wash jean but as you wash them the rainbow like detailing gets brighter and brighter they're not like a color jean they're not going to be like in your face rainbow but you're going to be able to see it more as you wear them more um so i did put broken in in the title because that's what beta brand shows it shows like the original jean and then it shows broken in so i wanted the buyer to know that like some of the rainbow was already showing but it wasn't like i don't think it was at its full potential i think you could wash it some more and it would make it a little bit brighter but anyways so I only saw like two or three other soul comps. That's why I'm saying I don't know how rare this is, but everybody of course had rare in their title. Um, and the people who did sold them, sold them for like 50 bucks. So I think that's what I listed mine at, 50 or 55. Ended up getting an offer of $43, which three into 43, absolutely no brainer. Um, the buyer did pay for shipping and I got a good review on it. Um, I put rare in my description and I put that they were originally like $98. I don't know if that helps anything sell. I know some sellers do that. I don't know how effective that is in your sales, but I just thought, hey, I'll put it out there in case somebody is like, oh, I can find these somewhere else, but you really can't because they're, they're hard to find. So yeah, let me know if you ever experienced anything like that with beta brand jeans or any kind of other jeans. Um, I just thought that was so cool. I was just so excited because I was like, there's a rainbow. These are so pretty. I didn't know that like that was designed that way. So it was really, really exciting. It was a really great sale um, because that was a sale that I found. I didn't have to share profit with anybody. It wasn't a consignment sale. Um, like I said, it was just three bucks into 43 bucks. And with Mercari, their fees are like right underneath eBay. I think they're a little bit less so like somewhere around like nine to 10%. Um, so I got to keep a good amount of that money, which is awesome. So those are the shares those are the sales that i'm going to share with you guys mainly some bolo brands to be on the lookout for um and just a sprinkling of two bins finds that i had that like i said you may pass over because i know dockers and you know adidas is pretty saturated but i think the the college theme does really well so let me let me know if you guys have sold like collegiate items um, do you stay away from any collegiate items that like you feel don't do well? I do think like stuff that's mass produced um, Like I know you can buy stuff at like Sam's or like for here We have like our local grocery store that sells collegiate items I don't think those would sell well because they're already pretty cheap as it is But like I said Nike Adidas even Under Armour um, You know well-known brands that are well made. I do think that they hold their value um, and let me know if you guys had heard of any of these bolo brands that I talked about. Um, let me know your experiences selling them. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!